हेलो एवरी वन टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी द ब्रिज कोर्स ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड टेन मैथमेटिक्स डे ट्वेंटी एंड डे ट्वेंटी वन एक्सरसाइज लेट्स गो वी विल सी फर्स्ट डे ट्वेंटी एक्सरसाइज इन दिस एक्सरसाइज फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज चूज द करेक्ट अल्टरनेटिव ऑफ द फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट हेयर सम स्टेटमेंट आर गिवन फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इज इफ ट्राइंगल ए बी सी सिमिलर ट्राइंगल पी क्यू आर मेजर एंगल ए इज इक्वल टू फोर्टी डिग्री एंड मेजर एंगल बी इज इक्वल टू थर्टी फाइव डिग्री देन फाइंड मेजर एंगल आर ऑप्शन आर गिवन ए सेवेंटी फाइव बी फिफ्टीन डिग्री सी नाइंटी फाइव डिग्री एंड डी हंड्रेड एंड फाइव डिग्री हियर टू सी दी सोल्यूशन ऑफ दिस हियर टू ट्राइंगल आर सिमिलर गिवन मीन्स ट्राइंगल ए बी सी इज सिमिलर टू ट्राइंगल पी क्यू आर दिस इज गिवन राइट डाउन फर्स्ट ट्राइंगल ए बी सी सिमिलर ट्राइंगल PQR. We will write the answer by using the figure. First, draw two triangles: triangle ABC and triangle PQR. Then draw two triangles: triangle ABC and triangle PQR. Then draw two triangles: triangle ABC and triangle PQR. Then draw two triangles: triangle ABC and triangle PQR. Then draw two triangles: triangle ABC and triangle PQR. Then draw two triangles: triangle ABC and triangle PQR. Then draw two triangles: triangle ABC and triangle PQR. Then draw two triangles: triangle ABC and triangle PQR. Then draw two triangles: triangle ABC and triangle PQR. Then draw two triangles: triangle ABC and triangle PQR. Then draw two triangles: triangle ABC and triangle PQR. Then draw two triangles: triangle ABC and triangle PQR. Then draw two triangles: triangle ABC and triangle PQR. Then draw two triangles: triangle ABC and triangle PQR. Then draw two triangles: triangle ABC and triangle PQR. Then draw two triangles: triangle ABC and triangle PQR. Then draw two triangles: triangle ABC and triangle PQR. Then draw two triangles: triangle ABC and triangle PQR. Then draw two triangles: triangle ABC and triangle PQR. Then draw two triangles: triangle ABC and triangle PQR. Then draw two triangles: triangle ABC and triangle PQR. Then draw two triangles: congruent okay therefore major of angle a is equal to major of angle p which is a 40 degree and major of angle b is equal to major of angle a which is 35 degree then we want to find the remaining angle that is r therefore the remaining angle that is angle c and major of angle r we want to find we know that the sum of the majors of angles of a triangle is 180 degree therefore angle a plus angle b plus angle c is equal to 180 degree reason is sum of all interior angles of a triangle is 180 degree now put the values of a and b you will get what is a a is 40 and b is 35 that is 75 180 75 is nothing but major angle c that is 105 degree we know that this angle c is congruent to angle r corresponding angles of a similar triangle therefore angle c is congruent to angle r therefore what is the major of angle r yes 105 degree therefore answer is option d second statement is if triangle lmn similar triangle qtp for lm is equal to 3 qt and ln is equal to 6 cm then find the length of PQ. Options are given. A is equal to 5.4 centimeter. B is 4.5 centimeter. C is 8 centimeter. And D is 13 centimeter. To write the answer, first write down the given thing that is 4 lm is equal to 3 qt. This is given. Now simplify this. See here, this 4 lm is equal to 3 qt. This qt you can transfer here. This 4 will be get here divided. Therefore, LM upon QT is equal to three upon four. But what is given? The two triangles are similar. Means triangle LM is similar to triangle QTP. This is given. We know that if two triangles are similar, then corresponding sides are in proportion. Therefore, LM upon QT is equal to LM upon TP is equal to LM upon QP. Reason will become. Corresponding sides of a similar triangle. Now, here see LM is equal to QT. Therefore, LM is equal to QT means all ratio is equal to three by four. Therefore, LM upon QT is equal to LM upon TP is equal to LM upon QP is equal to three upon four. Now, we want to find the value of PQ here QP. So, we will take these two ratios are first. Therefore, ln upon Qp is equal to three upon four. Now substitute the value of ln is six. Therefore, six upon Qp is equal to three upon four. Cross multiplication. Therefore, Qp is equal to six into four upon three. Three ones are three. Three twos are six. Therefore, Pq is equal to two into four. Two fours are eight centimeter. And this is the answer which is given. in option c therefore option c is a answer
सेकेंड क्वेश्चन ऑफ दिस एक्सरसाइज इफ ट्राइंगल आर एस टी सिमिलर ट्राइंगल एक्स वाई जेड कम्प्लीट दी फॉलोइंग स्टेटमेंट हेयर फर्स्ट स्टेटमेंट इज गिवन एंगल आर इज कॉन्ग्रेन टू डाई डाई डैश एंगल एस इज कॉन्ग्रेन टू डाई डाई डैश एंड एंगल टी इज कॉन्ग्रेन टू डाई डाई डैश एंड स्टेटमेंट बी इज ऑल्सो गिवन आर टी अपॉन एक्स जेड इज इक्वल टू डाई डैश अपॉन वाई जेड आर एस अपॉन एक्स वाई इज इक्वल टू एस टी अपॉन डाई डैश एक्स वाई अपॉन डाई डैश इज इक्वल टू वाई जेड अपॉन Yes, T. Here to write the answer of this, first write down the given things. Means these two triangles are similar. We know that if two triangles are similar, then corresponding angles are congruent, and then corresponding sides are in proportion. Therefore, angle R is equal to angle X. See here, this angle R is congruent to angle X. Therefore. First question's answer will come. Angle R is congruent to angle X. Then angle S is congruent to angle Y. Therefore, angle S is congruent to angle Y because corresponding angles of similar triangle. Therefore, in this angle Y will be come. Similarly, angle T is congruent to angle Z. There, therefore, in third, what will come? Yes, angle T is congruent to angle Z. Now we know that these angles are congruent. Now sides are in proportion. Therefore, R S upon X Y is equal to S T upon Y Z is equal to R T upon X Z. Therefore, R T upon X Z, R T upon X Z is equal to Y Z. Means here S T will come. Therefore, here S T is a answer. Second, R S upon X Y. R S upon X Y is equal to S T upon yes Y Z is a answer. And last, here X Y upon dash 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 is equal to Y Z upon S T. Y Z upon S T. Y Z upon S T means reciprocal. The end reciprocal of this is X Y means X Y upon R yes. Therefore, answer is R yes. Next third question of this exercise is if triangle D of similar triangle U V W major angle D is equal to 70 degree and major angle E is equal to 50 degree then to find the angles of triangle U V W complete the following activity here activity is given in this activity if you observe triangle D E of similar triangle U V W then Angle is congruent to which angle it will come? Yes, U. Therefore, answer will come here in first box. Angle U. Next, but major angle D is equal to 70 degree. Therefore, major of angle U is equal to both are equal. Therefore, it is a 70 degree. In B, angle is congruent to angle. Dash dash dash. See here, angle E is congruent to angle V. Therefore, in box, angle V will be come. But angle, what is the major of angle V? E is 50 degree. Therefore, V is also 50 degree because corresponding angles of a similar triangle. Now here, major of these all three angles of one triangle is nothing but 180. Degree because reason is given here angles of a triangle. Here, if we simplify this, then you will get 60 degree because 70 plus 50 is 120 degree and 180 minus 120 is 60 degree. Like this way, you can complete the activity. Fourth question is draw a sketch of a pair of similar triangles. Label them. Show their corresponding angles by the same signs. Show the length of the corresponding sides by numbers in proportion. To write the answer of this, first draw the two triangles. Means sketch the pairs of similar triangle. Therefore, in figure, triangle ABC is similar to triangle PQR. These two triangles are similar. Write down there in triangle ABC and triangle PQR. What is there? Label them. Already we label this and show the corresponding angles by the same signs. Here, if these two triangles are similar, then the corresponding angles means this angle A is congruent to angle P. Therefore, angle A is congruent to angle P. 
which is shown in the figure angle A is congruent to angle P with same side. Second pair is angle B is congruent to angle Q. This pair of two angles are shown in the figure by yellow color means these two angles are congruent and the third pair that is angle C is congruent to angle R. These two pairs are shown in the figure. So we shown there the corresponding angles are congruent. Now see third question. Show the lengths of the corresponding sides by numbers in proportion. First, in triangle ABC, suppose AB is 3 cm, BC is equal to 9 cm and AC is equal to 6 cm. Then in triangle PQR, PQ is equal to 2 cm, QR is equal to 6 cm and PR is equal to 4 cm. If we write the ratio of these two triangles corresponding side that is AB upon PQ is equal to BC upon QR is equal to AC upon PR. If we simplify this, you will get these sides are in proportion or the ratio of the corresponding sides are in proportion. Now let's go to see the day 21 exercise. In this first question is choose the correct alternative of the following statements. First statement is in triangle DEF if major angle D is equal to 50 degree and major angle E is equal to 80 degree then what is the major of exterior angle DFG of triangle DEF. Options are given A is equal to 130 degree, B is 100 degree, C is 70 degree and D is 50 degree. In this question, major of exterior angle is asked. So, we will draw figure. In the figure, angle DFG is a exterior angle. Okay. First write down the major angles. Major of angle D is 50 degree which is given. Major angle E is 70 degree. This is also given. And then your question is find the major of exterior angle that is angle D F G. Here angle D F G is an exterior angle of triangle D E F. Therefore angle D F G is equal to major angle D plus major angle E. Substitute the values. Therefore, angle DFG is equal to 50 plus 80 degree. Sum is 130 degree. Therefore, major angle DFG is 130 degree. Then, what is the answer? Yes. In option A, 130 degree is given. Therefore, option A is the answer. Here, second statement is. Two sides of a triangle are of length 5 cm and 1.5 cm. The length of the third side of a triangle cannot be di di dash. Options are 3.7 cm, 4.1 cm, 3.8 cm and 3.4 cm. To write the answer of this, we know that the length of a side of a triangle is less than the sum of the lengths of the other two sides and greater than the difference of the lengths of the other two sides. Therefore, we will find first sum of the two sides. So, the sum of the two sides is equal to 5 plus 1.5 that is 6.5 centimeter. Now, see here this sum is 6.5 centimeter. If sum of this two side is 6.5 cm. Then see all options which are less than the 6.5 cm. Therefore, all options is a answer. Means we are not able to choose the correct alternative because according to this all four options are correct. But now we will find the difference of both. Now difference of two given sides means difference of 5 and 1.5. So, difference is 3.5 cm. Now, here difference is 3.5 cm. 3.5 cm greatest numbers are 3.7, 3.4.1, 3.8 are the greater numbers. Therefore, these are not the options and 3.4 is less than the 3.5 cm. So, 3.6 cm, 4.1 cm and 3.8 cm are greater than the difference of the 
two sides. Therefore, only one side is remain that is 3.4, which is less than 3.5. Therefore, answer is option D. Second question of this exercise is write the answers of the following questions from the adjoining figure. Here, figure is given and some questions are also in this. Question A is which is the exterior angle in the figure? Yes, which is the exterior angle? Yes, ACB is a exterior angle which is shown. Therefore, answer is angle ACD is the exterior angle of the triangle. Then B question is which are the remote interior angles of angle ACD? This is the exterior angle and this is a interior angle. Its remote interior angles are A and B which are shown in the figure. Angle B and angle A are the remote interior angles of angle ACD. Therefore, answer is angle ABC and angle BAC. C question is which property should use to find angle ACD? Answer is the measure of an exterior angle of a triangle is equal to the sum of its remote interior angle. Question D is if angle B is equal to 50 degree and angle A is equal to 50 degree then measure angle ACD is equal to question mark. Answer is here write the first given measures that is 50 degree and 75 degree. Then angle ACD is an exterior angle of triangle ABC. Therefore, angle ACD is equal to major angle A plus major angle B. What is the reason? Yes, theorem of remote interior angle. Then substitute the values that is 50 degree plus 75 degree. Add these two that is 125 degree. Therefore, measure of angle ACD is 125 degree which is shown in the figure. Third question of this exercise is, in the figure point G is the point of concurrence of the median of triangle PQR. If GT is equal to 2.5, find the length of PG and PT. Here figure is given. To write the answer, we want to find PG and PT. In triangle PQR, segment PT is a median and major GT is given that is 2.5 cm and PT is also shown. Point G is the point of concurrence that is centroid. Therefore, the centroid divides the median PT in the ratio 2 as to 1. Therefore, PG upon GT is equal to 2 upon 1. Put the value of GT is 2.5, therefore PG upon 2.5 is equal to 2 upon 1. If we simplify this, PG is equal to 2 into 2.5, that is PG is a 5 unit. This value is shown in the figure. This is equation first. Now, PT is equal to PG plus GT because G is between P and T. T that is P dash G dash T. Substitute the values of PG and GT is equal to 5 plus 2.5 because in equation first we know that PG is a 5 unit. Add this two you will get PT is equal to 7.5. Therefore answer is length of PG is equal to 5 unit and length of PT is equal to 7.5 unit. Dear students, if you like this video, then like, share and comment the video. Thanks for watching the video.